Flat Earthers claim that laser tests over long distance over a lake claim that the Earth is flat. But I'm going to explain to you why laser tests are inconclusive and inaccurate. And it all has to do with laser divergence as well as refraction. So let's dive right on into this and have a little fun with lasers. I came across this uh, flat earther named Level Headed who did a laser experiment to supposedly prove the flat earth. As you can see, he has his setup here. He has his camera, there's the lake, and there's his uh, laser. Basically, he has a normal laser that you can buy anywhere. And it costs anywhere from like $9 to maybe $25. It's a normal laser that has a one mm rating divergence and the aperture is one to two millimeters. Now keep in mind the numbers in regards to the laser, the divergence, and also the beam aperture. Also, the distance across the lake is 22,048 meters or about 13.7 miles. If you look at the camera screen here, you can actually see the laser, okay? Now, on a, on a globe Earth without an atmosphere, you won't be able to see this. However, I'm gonna show you how this is possible due to heavy refraction because this looks like a very cold day and laser divergence as well. This experiment is possible and you can see the laser at that distance on a globe Earth. Okay, just to let you know, all lasers diverge. Okay, here's an experiment right here, up close with the laser, shining through some canola oil in the glass. As you can see, the laser beam is uh, two millimeters with a one milliradian divergence. That means the laser diverges one millimeter every meter the laser travels outward. Okay, as you can see, it's a, you can see the bright yellow beam right there in the canola oil to show it clearly. That's why I use canola oil, it's much easier. So, here we go. Okay, here's the distance at 10 meters away. Okay, with a one miller radian divergence, the beam is about a centimeter. It's about a centimeter in diameter, as you can see right here. You can clearly see it's a centimeter in diameter. Okay, this is 10 meters away. Okay. That beam is going to get thicker the farther out it goes. Okay, we're going to do this outside right now. Okay, this is about a meter away. Um, you can see that the beam is about two millimeters in diameter. Okay, so let's move a little farther out. Okay, this is about 10 meters out. Okay, as you can see that the beam is about 12 millimeters in diameter. Okay, 10 meters out. Okay, this is the laser beam at 100 meters out. You can see it is about 10 centimeters in diameter. There it is. We're about 100 meters out. Here's a piece of paper showing the size of the beam. As you can see, it's about 10 centimeters in diameter. Okay, the definition of a milliradian is basically it's another unit of angular measurement. For example, one milliradian is equal to to 0 0.0572958 degrees. Just another unit of uh, angular measurement, that's all. So a one milliradian laser shining at a distance of 22,048 meters or 13.7 miles, the laser beam diameter is gonna be 22,050 millimeters. Okay, that's about 72 feet wide. So let that sink in. So what does that mean for um, our flat earther earlier who could see the laser from 13.7 miles away? What does that mean? Let's check it out on the Earth Curvature Calculator. So do you remember this laser experiment done by Level Headed? Okay, at 13.7 miles or, or 22.048 kilometers? Well, look right here. Okay, here's a curvature calculator that takes refraction into consideration. Okay, the observer height is one meter and the target distance is 22.048 kilometers. And the target size, which would be the size of the laser beam, is 22 meters. Okay, now look right down here on the right where it says hidden, 26.79 meters would be hidden. So on a day with zero refraction, you will not be able to see this light. But the thing is, days with zero refraction are very rare. Most days you're gonna have very weak refraction and some days you're going to have strong refraction. Now on a day with standard refraction, which is common and normal, 
the hidden part is going to be 21 meters 0.4253 okay so basically you'll be able to see a half meter of that laser light beam and since it's so bright you will be able to see it on a day with standard refraction okay on a day with strong refraction you're going to find out that only 14.8 meters of the beam is going to be hidden so about a third of the beam you're going to be able to see very clearly at a distance of 13.7 miles or 22.048 kilometers now i used to live in utah so it does get very cold in the winter time so as you can see right here this is the the winter time or at least late fall okay as you can see here he's wearing a jacket so clearly the lake is cold so therefore the refraction is going to be much stronger than standard refraction so obviously this can happen on a globe earth due to refraction and the divergence of a laser okay so what he did right here is he basically did not prove anything he just proved that lasers diverge and refraction is strong that is it that is all he proved nothing more based on the results of my laser experiment okay i have come to the conclusion that any laser experiments in trying to determine the shape of the earth or trying to prove flat earth are inconclusive and inaccurate laser tests do not prove the flat earth case closed have a nice day